there was a music and entertainment sale held yesterday at my favourite auction house. 263 lots of vinyl records on offer. This sale included quite a few lots of Beatles, Beatles band members solo and Apple label records. I went to view last week. There were quite a few lots I was interested in. I ended up bidding on about seven or eight lots and I was successful with three lots, which I will show in a minute. First though, I will show some of the notable results from this auction. Lot number two. Beatles LP From Then To You. Beatles Fan Club Christmas Record 1970. Described as excellent condition, sold for £260 plus buyer's premium, which this auction house is 20% plus VAT. So that's a total all-inclusive cost of £322. Lot number nine. Musketeer Gripwood, which is a John Lennon 7-inch single, How I Won the War. Again, described as excellent condition. This sold for £280. It's an all-in cost for the buyer of 347 That single was released in 1967. Lot number 53. Badfinger LP. Title Straighten Up. Original UK release on Apple label. Described as excellent condition. Sold for £80 plus buyer's premium. It's so all in £99. Lot number 65. The Downliner Sect, LP, The Rock Sects In, UK Mono released 1966 on Columbia. Sold for £100 plus buyer's premium, total £124. And lot 67, Jackie Lomax LP, Is This What You Want? Original UK stereo release on Apple, sold for £90 plus buyer's premium. Total £112. All of the above mentioned were described as excellent condition. So I did buy three lots. First of which was lot 21. Joni Mitchell LPs. So that's 13 albums. All described as excellent to excellent plus. And on my visit to inspect... That indeed is how they are. The sleeves and the vinyl are in absolutely perfect condition. I also bought, bought lot 209, described as US Rock LPs, approximately 75 albums. So there's only one picture there on the online catalogue, so until you view, you don't know what the other albums are in this lot. So there we can see Aerosmith, picture disc of from Cheap Trick, Boston, etc. Other artists are mentioned there. And I also bought lot 234. Lot of 85 albums. So again, one picture. We can see the specials, Madness, The Cult. Other artists mentioned in the online catalogue. So let's take a look at these. So this is the Joni Mitchell lot. Starting off with Court and Spark. These sleeves are indeed in beautiful condition. That's for the roses.
Okay, that lost lot cost me £160. So all in that's £198 including premium. So that's on that's about £15 on average per album. I'm okay with that. I haven't sold many Joni Mitchell albums, but those I have sold have been have gone for, for good money and she's certainly very popular. So lot 209, the US rock albums. So we can see there was Aerosmith. In fact, there are several Aerosmith albums. This is the O band. Two Boston albums. This is the Cheap Trick picture disc. Quite a few Nils Lofgren albums. Again, the vinyl on this lot and the sleeves are excellent condition or, or very close to for the large majority. There are very few that are, are scruffy. Motley Crue. few Tom Petty albums, please will see more in a second. The Allman Brothers. Van Halen. Several ZZ Top albums. Two of that one. Poco. Best of Leon Russell. Linda Penns, don't know that album. Several Bob Seeger albums. Two copies of Night Moves. Two America albums. It's Journey. A few heart albums. A 
few cheap trick albums. Poco. We're nearly at the end. Some more little feet. Two copies of Feet Don't Fail Me Now. And some Tom, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Okay, so altogether that lot cost £300 plus buyer's premium, which is £372. So on average that's £5 an album. I'm okay with that. Uh, some of those will be slow to sell and probably won't make much more than five pounds, but there, there are some, some good titles in there, so I'm sure I'll be fine. I think though, this is probably from a, from a basis of reselling, this is the best lot I bought. It's lot two, three, four, 85 albums. Hammer price was 400 pounds. So that cost me 496, including buyer's premium. That's just under six pounds an album on average. So here we have Special's first album. There are three Echo and the Bunnymen albums. There's a few Blondie albums. Always going to find these in a job lot. However, they do sell. And this one might well do so because it includes the poster. Two from Ian Jury. Two from The Colt. Some Stranglers. Big bundle of simple minds. So Ultravox. from Dire Straits. Two from Tears for Fears. Undertones, it's 
George Michael's face. Some Eurus mix. Always going to find these in a job lot. As you're always finding Frankie goes to Hollywood too. A few Deacon Blue. I've not had this one before. I've got no idea what that is. NRBQ performs tap dancing bats. I might have to give that a listen. Again, the vinyl and sleeves in this lot uh, are all excellent or close to. There's literally only two or three albums that uh, have sleeves that are less than excellent. And the vinyl um, on certainly the vast, vast majority is excellent. Which is great. A couple of meatloaf. Always going to get the police in a job lot. Few Boomtown Rats albums. Not had that one before. And a bundle of Joe Jackson albums. the best of. I might keep that one. Joe Jackson, I'm the man, times two. I said there were quite a few Joe Jacksons, didn't I? There we go. On to Blamange. Not had this before. The Sinceros, the sound of sunbathing. Couple from the House Martins. Two from Tim Buck Three. I've seen this album mentioned by a few people in the VC, so I might have to give this a listen. And a second album from Tim Buck Three. Sneak preview of what's to come. There we go. Tim Buck Three. Haircut 100. Heaven 17. We're nearly there. Ubiquitous Woman in Red soundtrack. Now these are interesting. A few goodbye, Mr. McKenzie. Hammer and tongs. So there's three albums. Now, I'll, I had no clue who Goodbye Mr. McKenzie was, so um, having viewed last week, checked who they were. That lady, Shirley Manson. So this was her band before Garbage. Scottish. And again, I know nothing about these either. It's Martin Stevenson. It's a 
Can't get the camera to focus very well, apologies. There we go. There are one, two, three albums from Stephen Martinson, sorry, Martin Stevenson and the Dainties. That's Boat to Bolivia. Hard to check those out. And there's a fourth album. There we go. That was that lot. So 85 albums. I think there's some good albums to resell there and quite a few for me to listen to. So as mentioned, they cost just under £6 on average. So I think I'm very happy with that. That's it. Thanks for watching.